and then we conclude with probably the most famous part of the entire book of Joshua, verse 14 and 15. Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose lands ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Don't you love then the, the conclusion the people answered and said, we're, we're we're going to serve the Lord. Verse 17, for the Lord our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And which did those great signs? Reminds me of King Benjamin's speech where King Benjamin rehearses all the great deeds that God has done for the people. And then they see their own nothingness and they say, we want to be in relationship with this great God. Israelites, the same. I want to tie this back into sacrament and how this connects to scriptures. We are asked to read the scriptures so that we have evidence of the great deeds God has done for so many people. Your personal journal can be evidence of the great deeds God has done for you. And when you go to sacrament, it's like being here in Joshua 24 or in the King Benjamin speech where you say, Lord, you have done everything for me. I want to be with you. I'm fallen. I'm hurting. I struggle and yet I choose to be with you. I want you to continue to do great deeds in my life. I want to be on that path side by side with you so I can be entered into the promised land just like the Israelites found their way into the promised land. Even, even if that path is a steep mountain climb, I hope that we'll all be able to say with more courage and more trust and faith in the Lord than ever before, give me this mountain, because we know who's with us, and we know that he will always help us overcome. And we leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.